Hello. Oh, yeah. Yellow. We came, we came at quarter past five. Oh, my God. What are you doing, babe? Oh, I'm just recording. My last day of school, so I'm just recording. Really? Yeah. yeah, it is too. Oh. So. See you later. See ya. But she'll be back with you. Yeah, oh, HSC. yeah, HSC. Yeah. For HSC, she'll be back. Yeah. See? Oh I love your shoes. They're so groovy. Thanks. My sister, my sister, Science. My sister has those shoes. Hello. <laughs> this is red. So <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen you wear a skirt before. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like know. wearing skirts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Amphitheater. Of course, the mess. <laughs> and that is the outside. More toilets. The walking straight line. The library. Blue English. Ooh. More phones. Another door. More paintings. Oh, that is a screen. That, uh, that room might do English. Uh. Oops. Oh. Smile like you mean it. Okay. Are you filming? Yeah, I'm filming. Hello. Hi. It's my last day, so I'm filming. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the outside. The outside, you see. Hello. The Lali Pop. Hi, people. Hi. I'm trying to super glue that to the that wood. Hi. And I'm holding it there for about a minute. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hi Bianca. How are you? Hi. Good, thank you. Last um, day. <laughs> Hello. He's giving too late. Really? Yeah. You gotta go. Hey, hello. <laughs> hello. No, it's recording. Hello. Yeah. I will miss all the 12 people. Oh, thanks, Gary. Katrina. Hi, Bianca. Hello. How do you feel on your last day? Sad. Sad. Everybody. W's are here. Yeah, I was going to be here. Yes, Dad. 
my last day at Company. Hello! Hi, buddy. Hello. Go get mine. I don't know how to get mine. Andrew. Hello. Hey. 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 Nothing. No one's ready. You. Get away. Hey. Hi, people. Hi. Jackie, you gotta get in line. Yeah, get in line. Oh, we need that. We need James. Hi, hi. I don't cry. All the times we had together. I don't know where I am. Oh, the whole year. two weeks I'm sure to you as well seem like a fast forward blur to this day. It's a strange day for you as departing students and one of mixed emotions I'm sure. Excitement and uncertainty mixed together. This place for most of you has been your home away from home for the last six years and your school life is such a huge part of your formative years. So it's no great surprise that many of you may be feeling apprehension upon moving on from what I hope has been a safe, secure, nurturing and happy environment for you. I've thought long and hard over the last few weeks and days about what I was going to say to you today. Where to start and how to compress such an eventful period into a few words. And I can already hear Peter Clark groaning under his breath, oh no, Ranky, please keep it short. <laughs> I promise not to ram uh, ramble too uncontrollably over the next minute or so, but I will indulge myself a little. Firstly, I'd like to say how very glad I am that circumstances allowed me to become your year advisor in the first place. I guess my affection for this year group began with my stint in the English department, where I was placed in charge of the great Seven Freeman. It was a wonderful introduction to many of the characters this year group holds. Then on to Year 8 Music, where I taught many of you. 
Hmm. Year 8 music can be a very trying time. And Marty Simpson and Neil McDonald did their best to drive me crazy with their own special type of jive talking. As the years have gone by, we have shared many fond memories as a year group, and I guess the year 10 camp, or fat camp as it was christened, <laughs> sealed many friendships and gave us all something to collectively laugh and whinge about. I think it was the first time I spied Miles and his cohort in women's clothing. I say the first time because Miles managed to hop into another fetching little number yesterday. So, it's a little worrisome, but anyway. And it was the first time I got to know a lot of you much better, which as a teacher is very rewarding, as is getting to hammer students with paintball bombs without necessarily jeopardising your teaching career. As a new group, I have admired your solidarity and the general feeling of goodwill and friendship amongst you. You have a generosity of spirit that has strengthened as you have progressed through these senior years and as a result strengthened you as individuals. One only has to look at the fine SRC representatives you chose and of course the two very fine leaders in Chloe and Alicia to see the depth of character that resides in this group. On recently writing on your reports and references, I have been struck time and time again by the abundant wealth of talent and ability within Year 12. You have worked hard at developing your skills and your teachers and fellow students have been enriched by your performances. You possess an enthusiasm that has spilled over into all aspects of school life and I have been especially impressed by the way in which new school members over the years have been welcomed and in turn how they have embraced the total experience that is Terrible High School. As your year advisor, I hope that I have lived up to my side of the bargain because you certainly have enriched my life and taught me a lot. Like how to speak in front of a large crowd without necessarily passing out. <laughs> You've also indulged my love of humour, probably too much, but I thank you just the same because it really is nice to be able to laugh at work. And on a more serious note, how to cope with dignity in times of difficulty. I have been incredibly humbled by the way in which many of you have dealt with tragedy, serious illness and difficult events over the years with the kind of dignity and maturity many adults twice your age don't possess. I guess at this time, some parting words of wisdom would not go astray. Although I don't know if I'm qualified in the wisdom department, but I have some thoughts just the same which I'd like to pass on. The first one is very special. Each and every one of you are special and has something you need to offer, don't forget that. You are not defined by your job or your monetary wealth, but by who you are and how you live your life. And don't be scared to follow your true passions. And this one, I think is very important. And if I have learned one great truth over the years, life is not stagnant. And when things seem chaotic, beyond your control, or generally awful, which they can and will do over a lifetime, it's not forever. The human spirit is amazingly resilient. Trust in yourself and trust in the certainty that things take some amazing turns. And just as extreme moments of delirious happiness pass, so do extreme moments of despair or sadness. And I think that's really, really important to remember. I'd like to thank you all for letting me in on this wonderful journey. I wouldn't change this experience for anything. I know I've been a bit frantic and nagging over the last few weeks, but that's generally not how I feel about this job. Coming to work in an environment where one is constantly surrounded by enthusiasm, talent, humour and a great deal of laughter amidst the learning has got to be one of the best jobs ever. I have enjoyed your warmth and friendship and have kind of thought of you as a rather large adopted family. And so it is with great pride in you and a great deal of sadness that I say goodbye. I'm very glad that you felt over the years that you can come down to visit me in my hiding hole and have a chat, eat my biscuits, drink my coffee, <laughs> and in some circumstances, fair gifts of flowers. Thank you very much, Aaron. Okay. <laughs> you are a wonderful group of people, and I wish you sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, every happiness as you go out into this amazing world and make your stamp on it. 
Stay safe, study hard, and I'll be seeing you all in your finery at the formal. Much love to you all. Years ago, last year's Vice President mentioned in his speech that they had a special time, even though they weren't the closest of years. You know what? I think maybe we are one of the closest years to ever go through, and in my opinion, one of the most talented. <laughs> We've dominated performing arts nights, we own many sporting stars, and the standard of this year's HSC major works was something to be proud of. They said that year 12 would fly, and it did. They said it would be difficult, and it was. Another thing they said is that we'll miss it when we we'll leave. My guess is that they're probably right as well. But today isn't the teary end to the bonds we've formed, not just with our close circle of friends, but as a year. We share memories of the great Aussie bush camp, of Lake Burundong, minus the lake, <laughs> of year 10 formal, hairball, hacky, of crazy hat days, sporting and performing arts nights, karaoke and lunchtime spent where we laugh so hard our stomachs hurt. <laughs> Too many memories to simply lose contact with one another. We studied the notion of the journey in English. Pretty ironic as it seems the only word appropriate to sum up our schooling years. There is a sense that one journey has come to an end and another is just beginning. If we remember where we came from, stay true to ourselves, and put into practice the things that THS has taught us, like to never stop learning and striving, then we can achieve anything we want from life. To all the teachers, Mrs. Van Haren, and especially Mrs. Rankin, who has been a second mum to us, thank you for preparing us for success in the next phase of our lives. We should also thank our parents and friends, whose support and friendship were essential in achieving our HSC. We did it, guys. Class of 2004 has made it. Woo! I have been dreading this moment ever since I watched Matt and Corey farewell their year 12 last year and realised that I'd have to do the same. Not because I had to write a speech after all our schoolwork was finished, but because I could not find the words or the way in which to say them that would do justice in expressing the time we have spent here, the knowledge we have gained, the experiences we have shared and the friendship we have forged throughout our time at THS. How does one put into words what it feels like to be closing a significant chapter in our lives and beginning a new one into the unknown? So this is my attempt at trying. We are here today to commemorate the endpoint of a journey we started some 13 years ago. This milestone we reach with mixed emotions but most of all, we should be proud. Proud of our achievements, knowledge and experiences that have formed the foundations to set us on our new endeavour into the real world, leaving behind the security blanket of school and embarking on the adventure of life. Proud of the fact that while others came and left, we remained and battled through the times of stress and relished in the memories of joy. I am honoured to be part of such an exceptional group of people the talent and enthusiasm is remarkable, and I'm sure many teachers would agree with me in saying that we are one of the closest years to have gone through Terrigal High School, and for that I feel privileged, because the memories are of everyone, not just a select few, and that they will remain with us throughout our lives. A key factor in why our time has been so enjoyable is the immense dedication of our year advisor, Mrs. Rankin. I realise whilst writing this, that I wish there were a word that meant more than thank you. Because when describing this lady, thank you just doesn't seem to be enough. Throughout the years, she has been much more than just a year advisor. She has been a mentor, a friend, a counsellor, and a mother to sick kids at camp. We could not have been more fortunate to be blessed with such a kind and caring person to accompany us through our high school years. The amount of time and effort that Mrs Rankin has contributed to make our schooling as enjoyable and beneficial as possible is outstanding, and much of which goes unnoticed. So today, on behalf of Year 12, I'd like to say thank you, and more, because our appreciation is beyond words.
With our exams just a few weeks away, we must remain close, support each other and enjoy the time we have left together. We must also thank our family and friends and teachers, for this has not only been a journey for us, but a journey for them as well. It is now time to take the knowledge we've gained from, ex from experience and look forward to the future with anticipation and enthusiasm. Because as one door closes, a new one opens, full of excitement and opportunity. So finally, I'd like to say congratulations. We have made it. And I wish you all the best of luck in the exams and the future. Thank you. Now, these people then have a chance, of course, of moving on in the next stage of our award system to the student of distinction. To reach this level, the students need to receive two outstanding achievements. Haley Aldice. Katrina Allen. <laughs> Noni Anderson. <laughs> Philippa Barnfield. <laughs> Ashley Beatty. <laughs> Katie Beasley, Brody Bishop, Adam, and James Bishop, Jay Blofflinch. Jody Bonello. <laughs> John Borman. <laughs> Kieran Brown. <laughs> Marie Brown. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> Kelly Bruce. Chris Bryant. <laughs> Nicole Campbell. <laughs> Tegan Campbell. <laughs> Tim Carroll. <laughs> Alexis Chapman. Rebecca Chin. <laughs> Peter Clark. <laughs> Kaylin Clay. Ryan Cole. Uh, <laughs> Stuart Cole Clark. <laughs> Danielle Conduit. Holly Connery. Paul Cooper. Jonathan Coyle. <laughs> Adelie Creamy. Alyssa Croft. 
left. The lovely Aaron Culbertson. <laughs> Michelle Cumming. <laughs> Rebecca Daly. James Darling. Richard Davis. <laughs> Alain De Carne. <laughs> Alain Delay. <laughs> Amanda Day. Christy Jones. 